Hello, training talent! Are you planning to create an e-learning course? Maybe you've already started and realized there's more to it than your first idea. In this video, we will go over how to create an e-learning course. From where to begin, how to make your course attractive and engaging, and how to make your content accessible. Start by defining the purpose of the course by answering this question. What should a learner be able to do after finishing the training? Then, figure out your target audience and take a closer look at your prospective learners. The easiest and most comfortable way to manage the training process is with the help of a learning management system, or LMS. It will let you automate a lot of functions like invitations, course assignment, and results tracking. You will also need an e-learning toolkit so that you can create interactive courses with quizzes, videos, and dialogue simulations. A great example of such a toolkit is Icepring Suite. Okay, it's time to map out the course or create a storyboard. A storyboard is a document, slide deck, or prototype in which the training developer lays out the framework for the course. Now that you know the structure of your e-learning course, you need to write the script. There are two main types of scripts, an on-screen text and a narration script. You may skip this tab if you are not going to include a voiceover in your course. It's time to put all the content together in a course. We will do this with the iSpring Suite Offering Toolkit. iSpring is a PowerPoint-based tool, so if you already know how to use PowerPoint, it will be very easy for you to start creating courses there. Simply populate the slides with the text, images, and videos by following your storyboard. Audio and video can serve as great assets to support the text on the slides. Since you already have your narration script ready, you can now record a voiceover. This is easy to do right from iSpring Suite. It has a built-in audio recorder that allows you to record your own audio narration and easily sync it with animations and transitions on the slides. When you're ready, select Record. After you have finished recording, you can go to Manage Narration for editing options. iSpring Suite also includes a professional video studio that enables you to record your screen with webcam and audio. This tool has all the necessary features to make professional-looking videos. Next, let's talk about quizzes and tests. These are primary tools for checking knowledge and e-learning. You can create quizzes with the iSpring Quizmaker tool. It has 14 question types, including matching, sequence, hotspot, fill in the blanks, and drag and drop. If you want your sales staff or any other employees to improve their communication skills, one of the best ways to do it is to create a role play. This is an interactive exercise that imitates an actual conversation with a person and helps people master communication skills in a risk-free environment. iSpring Suite includes the TalkMaster tool that allows you to make realistic simulations quickly and easily. A great way to save time on course development is to use iSpring Content Library that offers a large set of characters of different ages, ethnic groups, and professions, and a huge collection of locations suitable for different situations. Finally, if you aim to make e-learning fully accessible for people with impairments, you need to create courses that comply with Section 508. It's convenient to prepare slides for your courses in PowerPoint, since Microsoft itself offers ways to make your presentations accessible for learners. For example, you can use a screen reader, alt text, and build-in layouts for images. Here's how a course slide and a quiz question look in different modes. Courses created with iSpring Suite play well on any device, including PCs, Macs, tablets, and smartphones. However, before publishing the content, ensure that it displays perfectly on each device type. You can do this in a few clicks by using a preview mode. Now that you've planned, designed, and developed your e-learning content, it's time to put it all together by publishing your course. iSpring allows you to publish content in several ways. 
to my computer, to iSpring Learn LMS, to other LMSs, to iSpring Space hosting and sharing service, and to YouTube. Let's save it to my computer. And there we have a full e-learning course. If you follow the steps we've outlined here, it should be a snap.